Dancers, Dreamers, and Presidents is a powerful program of American music, played by your Phoenix Symphony and conducted by Andrew Litton. The show begins with the Phoenix Symphony premiere of Daniel Bernard Romain's Dancers, Dreamers, and Presidents. Daniel Bernard Romain is Institute Professor and Professor of Practice at Arizona State University. He composed this piece in 2010, inspired by a 2007 dance between Ellen DeGeneres and then-Senator Barack Obama on The Ellen Show. The juxtaposition of this joyful moment against the backdrop of long-running debates over race, religion, identity, and sexual orientation made Romain realize just how meaningful their dance was. Each word of the title represents a movement of the piece, and each movement includes instruments of the orchestra layering or dancing with one another. Dancers, Dreamers, and Presidents premiered at the New World Symphony in 2010. Next up in the program is Aaron Copeland's Lincoln Portrait, narrated by Jeffrey Owens. Copeland was born in 1900 in Brooklyn to Jewish immigrants from Lithuania. Like many eager American artists, he spent time studying music in Paris in the 1920s with Nadia Boulanger. In the 1930s, he proceeded to compose his Southwest cowboy culture-themed ballets, which shaped his composition style and his music into the American sound we know today. Composed in 1942, this piece was inspired by Abraham Lincoln. It features quotations from his famous speeches read by a narrator, as well as popular American songs of the time. The music, speeches, and descriptions combine to form a new kind of portrait that audiences have adored since its debut with the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra in May of 1942. Dancers, Dreamers, and Presidents closes with two pieces by Leonard Bernstein. Bernstein became an overnight sensation at 25 when he filled in to conduct the New York Philharmonic on a nationally broadcast concert in 1943. While working as music director of the New York Philharmonic during a tour stop in the Soviet Union, Bernstein met Russian cellist Mstislav Rostropovich who would become a hero in the West after he defected and moved to the U.S. In 1977, Rostropovich became music director of the National Symphony Orchestra, an occasion Bernstein celebrated with Slava. This political overture takes its name from Rostropovich's nickname, which also means glory in Russian. Rostropovich conducted the premiere of the piece with the National Symphony in October of 1977. This will be the Phoenix Symphony premiere. The final piece of this program is Leonard Bernstein's Symphonic Dances from West Side Story. The idea began with choreographer Jerome Robbins, who suggested a contemporary adaptation of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The original idea centered on Jews and Catholics in Manhattan's Lower East Side, but was eventually reframed to focus on the conflicts between Puerto Ricans and white Americans in the Latino ghettos of the West Side. West Side Story went on to a successful Broadway run of two years, and a 1961 film version that won 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. New productions of West Side Story continue to garner acclaim. Bernstein extracted nine numbers from the performance to stand as an orchestral suite. These symphonic dances don't follow the plot of the show, but rather their own musical arc. <laughs> 